Paulo, hey, this ben, is you. Matt, how you doing tonight? Doing great. How's it going, Matt? Doing good, doing good. Yeah, many things to talk about. Real quick, I'll talk about the last thing you just discussed about the 538 yep. map. Yeah. Yeah. That, you know, that number goes up and down every day. Yep. And, you know, we one day we can talk about, you know, Clinton being up at 96%. Next day we can talk about she being at 75, 60, whatever. You know, the thing is, in a lot of the states that they have turning blue, Georgia's a good example. Georgia hasn't been blue since 92. Mm-hmm. Since 1960, Georgia hasn't, Georgia turned blue three times. The chance of her winning, winning Georgia and turning it blue, I would say, I would really bet my first child on it that it's not going to turn blue. Same thing with, you know, South Carolina. South Carolina turning blue, that, that chance is uh, highly unlikely. So, you know, I look at, you know, I was telling people on you know, Twitter, I'm all going to Twitter like you all, I tell people I don't look at general, you know, election numbers. I look at state mm-hmm. numbers. And, and right now, states that, you know, have clearly Clinton, you know, Clinton in the lead, those polls, if you look at the rest of the polls, she might be either tying with, with um, Trump or losing to Trump. And so yeah, those numbers are going up and down, up and down. So, yes, taking a snapshot, she might be winning every state at this moment. Take a snapshot tomorrow, she might be losing half the states. And so it's just one of those things that I think it's too early to say, oh, yeah, Clinton's going to, you know, destroy Trump in the polls or Trump in, you know, in election come November. You know, I've been saying this to people for months. I think that it's going to be one of the closest races we have, the total vote wise, than we had in a very long time. And the reason why I say that is because, A, on one hand, you have people who don't like Trump. And mm-hmm. on the other hand, you have people who don't like Clinton. Yep. And I think those are the people who are going to be decide in this election. It's not going to be Clinton base. It's not going to be Trump base. And then, with that said, it just, it's really going to be, I want, I want, let me take that back. I want to say it's going to be people who don't like the other candidate. I think it's more going to be your fence, you know, your, your, your fence sitters who, you know, maybe today they like Clinton, but maybe tomorrow they like Trump because of something he says. And I think it's going to be the, literally that Touch day, that moment they go to the poll. Yeah. That they're going to be like, okay, I'm voting for this candidate. And I think really it's going to come down to somebody's going to get 271 and somebody's going to get 269. And it literally it's going to be that so close that people let me are going like, well, to Let me tell you where I agree with you and where I disagree. I agree that it's going to be um, kind of a um, uh, um, what's impulse decision. I think there are going to be a lot of people who make up their mind in the poll booth. And that's a very, very dangerous place for this um for this place, to, for this race to be, right? Because that could go, I mean, hell, that can go either way. People might get in there and play damn any, mini, miny, mo, like um, um, Negan on The Walking Dead. You know, it, it could get that kind of ridiculous. Um, that being said, um, I do think that the general election polls at this point actually have some val- uh, validity. Um, right now, Hillary has, even with uh, Jill Stein and Gary Johnson in the mix, Hillary holds a seven point mm-hmm. lead victory over all of them. And she's she's, uh, you know, this week she's up in every single poll. I think they do have some validity. Yeah. I think we can't dismiss them. Oh. But I agree with you on the on the real on the 538, their their percentage chance. You know, you know, it's well, uh, that that is that one changes yeah. almost every hour with them. Well, no, no, I agree with you. It's going to come that when it comes to popular vote, Clinton is going to kill Trump in, in, that, in that number. She's mm-hmm. going to get, you know, 60, 65 million, whatever the case may be, and he's going to get 50, 52, 53 million votes. Yeah. Clinton is going to wipe the chalk with him in popular vote. That is no if, ands, or buts about it because it's states like California, New York, Indiana, you know, the state that will go blue and always will go blue no matter who's running as Democrat. Yeah, in, in the Washington, Oregon, and whatnot. And I say, and again, yes, some of these polls that they have for general election, I will, again, it's the argument I've been making on, you know, Twitter lately, is some of them all, you know, I would say yes. She might be four or five points ahead. But there's yeah. been some polls that come out that have her 13, 15 points ahead mm-hmm. within two to three weeks of the last poll they did. I'm looking at that going, there's no way Hillary well, Clinton went from 2.3 points up to 15 points yeah, you know, just because Trump said something stupid to a baby, or he, you know, made, you know, you know, <laughs> Matt, made comment to the you know, to yeah, a, Matt, I got to cut you there. I got to cut you there so I can free up the line for the uh, for the rest of the callers. But you know, you you actually alluded to something that I was getting ready to say. You know, there's been a concerted effort by media to undermine Donald Trump. 
right? The media is 100%, I, unless, notwithstanding conservative media, but just the media in general, uh, CNN, MSNBC, the mainstream media, they have gone into full meltdown anti-Trump coverage. Um, so if she does have an advantage over Donald Trump, 100% chance that the media has a, has a role to play in that. I mean, no question whatsoever uh, that they have a, a role to play in that. Um, I think they should have done that before he became a viable candidate in the first place. I think they're a year late and uh, too little too late. Um, and I think it, it, it does a disservice to, um, to in a lot of ways. They should have did, they, Donald Trump should not be the nominee. And you realize now, if Hillary Clinton was running against a John Kasich, whew, I don't, I, I mean, she'd get blown away. She, she would have a hell of a race against somebody like Marco Rubio, but I think she'd get blown away. So um, saving the input from the media, I, I just don't know. Um, I don't know what these polls would actually look like. But the 14-point spread that she got, uh, that was from... Um, can't remember exactly which which poll, but uh, that was an outlier. So she has an average of uh, real clear politics average of seven point two points above uh, Donald Trump. And that's including Gary Johnson and Jill Stein. So, um, you know, it still looks like it's going to be a Hillary Clinton, President Hillary Clinton um, saving some type of October surprise, any type of um, any type of terrorist attack, because. You know, that always plays in favor of of um, of Republicans and save any type of other controversy like the DNC leaks. Um, it looks like you're going to be uh, handling or dealing with the president, um, President Hillary Clinton.